Number 56. Technetium 99M has a half-life of 6.01 hours. If a patient injected with this Technetium 99M is safe to leave the hospital once 75% of the dose has decayed, when is the patient allowed to leave? Okay, great question. The first question you might ask is, why are they using Technetium 99M in hospital settings? And why is there an M here? Well, two things, right? Technetium 99M, I, I like to think that the M stands for medicine or medical. This is the number one, basically, nuclear isotope that hospitals and any type of medicine, any type of scans use. Majority of the scans, if you have to go for a bone scan or a brain scan, um, liver scan, right, heart scan, generally speaking, they will inject Technetium 99M. Now, the M, just as like a fun fact, you know, is for medical purposes. So there is a technetium 99, but that is a longer lasting uh, form of technetium 99. The M is a shorter lasting half-life so that it comes into the body and it leaves much more quickly than the, you know, technetium 99. So this patient, whoever came in, it was injected with technetium 99M, Maybe for a bone scan, a brain scan, heart scan, liver scan, kidney scan, you know, a white blood cells, you know, they could scan for anything. It's, it's probably going to be Technetium 99M. But they got injected. Now they want to go home, right? When can that patient leave the hospital? Well, it can leave the hospital once 75% of the dose has decayed. So, in, you know, originally when the patient was injected with technetium 99M, right? Initially, there was the whole sample, right? And the whole entire sample, if we're talking about percents, can you tell me what uh, what's the total percentage initially? Yeah. I mean, you had 100% of technetium, so I'll say TC 99M. Now, at the end of the day, we are allowed, or this patient's allowed to leave, once 75% of the dose has decayed. So we'll keep that in mind. Now, the question is asking for when. When can the patient allowed to leave, right? When somebody asks when, they're always asking for a certain amount of time, right? When's your birthday? When are you going out? Um, when is the movie, right? So when, they're looking for a time value here. So they're looking for a lowercase t. But now the question is, they gave me numbers, right? They're giving me a half-life. Um, what formulas do I use? Well, just know that any type of nuclear chemistry, right? Anytime that you're dealing with any isotopes, I don't care if it's carbon. I don't care if it's nitrogen. I don't care if it's uranium or technetium. All nuclear chemistry abides by first order kinetics. So if you're a nuclear chem, chances are you did learn your kinetics chapter already. And there are two formulas that abide by first order kinetics, which I wrote down here. A lot of the times, since this is a new chapter, they make you memorize new formulas, but I don't think that that's necessary. These are the same formulas that you used in your kinetics chapter. So why can't we use them again? So these might look very familiar to you. And if we are looking for a general time value, right, when, I don't know if it's going to be exactly at the half-life, right? So we're looking for a general T value, which means that at the end of the day, I'm going to be using this formula. And the T value is what I'm going to be solving for. So we're going to call that X. Now, these, right, ln of your amounts, the brackets, generally mean molarity, but the good thing about this formula is that you don't have to have molarity. You could use fractions, you could use molarities, you could use gram values, you could use mole group values, and you could even use percents. So this A value with this little notch, this little zero here, means that zero time has gone by. So this is your initial amount. And just like we said, initially, if we're talking about percents, 
we know that we have 100%. But now, this A value must be the final amount. But here is the thing. We're talking about technetium, right? So I don't care how much of it has left, right? Because we only care about how much finally is remaining. Now they did say that 95% of the dose has decayed. If 95% of the dose has decayed, that means that 90, 95, why do I keep saying 95? Sorry about that guys, 75. <laughs> If 75% of the dose has decayed, that means that 75% left and went somewhere else. So we have to ask ourselves, well, how much is actually remaining? If you start off with 100 and 75% left, yeah, you have 25% remaining. 100 minus the 75 that remained. So I'm not going to use the 75 here. I'm going to use the 25. Now, the last thing is, I need to find out this k-value. And remember, a k-value is the rate constant. But, hmm, they didn't tell me what the rate constant was in this equation. But, ah, that's why I have two formulas, because this formula has both the rate constants in them. So I can use the rate constant that I find in here and just plug it in for here. Now, if we're going to use this formula, I should know the half-life. That's what this t half represents. The half next to the, the time is a specific half-life. And they did tell me that. They told me that it was 6.01 hours. So, this is a standard value. That's the ln of 2. So let's find out what k is. 6.01 equals... 0 0.693 divided by k. Cross multiply, and then I guess divide, right? So just if, you know, just writing it down just so that you guys can see. But this would be 6.01 times k equals 0 0.693. And then we just got to divide by 6.01 on both sides. And this will cancel. And now 0.693 divided by 6.01. And there we go. So we have a k value. And maybe I should put that in red just to color code it. k equals 0 0.1153. And just know that if you have a half-life in hours, this unit for your half-life is going to be hours to the minus 1 which now we know is going to be this value, 0 0.1153. So let's now use this formula and plug it in play. So ln, I'm just going to um, put in the framework here. Okay, so we have ln of 25. You don't have to put the percentages in equals negative 0 0.1153, so bring that a little bit closer, this is times by the time, plus the ln of 100. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just find out what the lns are. So I'm going to do ln of 25, and then I'll do the ln of 100, and see where that gets me. So ln of 25... I get 3.21888, if I just round. I'll use the whole number when I'm doing the math. 0.1153 times x. And then let's do ln of 100. So that's plus 4.60517. We want to get x by itself, so we're going to subtract this number. On both sides, minus 4.60517. This will cancel out. And I'm going to take the full number, so I'm going to take this minus this. And I get negative 
0.8629 equals negative 0 0.1153, and that's times by the x value, and then just solve for x. I'm going to divide by negative 0 0.1153. I'll use the whole k value that I found out from before, just so that we don't run into any errors in rounding. This gets canceled out. And then we're going to take this whole number, divide it by, I think we have to make it negative, and then go find that value. This guy, right? There we go. Boop. And, yep, seems good to me. So x equals roughly 12, 12 hours, I would say. So 12.0, so right smack on there. The time is in hours because our half-life was in hours, and we didn't change... Uh, the units. And that's it. So the patient comes in, gets the scan, and in 12 hours time, the patient is allowed to leave. And that's it. Because only 25% of the technetium will still be in the body. Cool? Okay, what'd you think? I hope this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Get the word out there that this channel exists. Thank you so much for that. And I look forward to helping you in more questions. Uh, if you want to help us out a little bit more, we also have memberships on the channel. It's not obligated, obviously, um, but if you want to, you know, the offers are always there. We have four different tiers. Maybe one will suit your fancy. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a great day. Okay, bye-bye.